this teaching this month is not for everybody. It's for those who aspire to already uh, leap of faith and you know go through whatever they're going through and still win. There's a great move of God uh, about to take place, and I'm waiting for it. I'm ready for it. You know, things getting tight and rough and everything. But I'm still enjoying life. I have to learn to enjoy life. Whatever I do, I have to enjoy my 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 life. My my life is what I want to enjoy. Before I die, I must enjoy my life in pleasure, in happiness, in final whatever. So God, God will know my heart is to enjoy my life. And I thank God for this teaching again. I hope that they have been a blessing to you. And I hope you, I hope you appreciate it. I hope that you guys appreciate what I am doing here. I know some will find fault, but I always do my best by sharing God's word. And God's word is all I Paul in my Bible says, woe if I preach not this gospel. And we're talking here this whole month here, this whole month here, crossing over. And we're going to cross over right now to a God on to godly financial faith walk this week. This week here, talking about faith walk. And I, I, I tell you before, faith is all I know. I don't know about you guys, but all I know is faith. I can't live without faith. Faith like my skin. <laughs> I don't have it on all the time. If you skin me, you see flesh and blood. So faith is what I do. I live by faith. I, 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 I do things by faith. I speak by faith. You know, I believe in faith. My faith is active. I, I move by faith. I talk by faith. I wish by faith. I love by faith. I give by faith. Faith is all I do. Because without it, you cannot please God. So I want to please God, even though I'm going wrong. I'm going wrong by faith. I'm going right. I'm going right by faith. I ain't going at all. I'm going by faith still. <laughs> even though I'm doing nothing, I do nothing by faith. But I am one for the active. My faith is active. And I thank God for that kind of, that kind of stress faith you give to me. I go through some real champion work, you know, and I, I, I know that God, 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 God know what I'm doing right, know what I'm doing wrong, know if I'm going right, know if I'm going wrong. So God is holding me the best way he can until he brings me to a place of excellence, you know. I'm going through a phase right now in my life. And I know that God is holding me. God is keeping me. You know, I, I, I keeping me. I, I am building right now. And I, 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 I like, a, I like a, a horse with blindness. I, I, I just can't see no other way. I'm trying to get it so I can bless God's people. That's my assignment here. So I want, I want to talk about tonight about, about um, using our faith as a force. Our faith, no. There are people right now need to have force, faith, or faith with force. That means activity. Your, your faith have movement. You, when you have force, faith, you, you, you don't take no for answer. You don't, you don't sleep. When your faith has force, you're always doing something. When you, you know, force faith is activated faith. Your faith never gets dormant. That is, that is how I live. My faith will never get dormant. If I sit in a bed, I can still move by faith with my words. So when your faith has force, it has movement. It is that you have a deliberate thing. You do things deliberately. You do things. You do things to just to, just to, to just move forward. And I want you all to have that. Have that force behind your faith, and have your faith for the force. Because faith for the force have movement, have activities, always doing something. Don't make nobody 
have you slowed down, locked down? Always have your mind working, have your, have your body working, have, have your thoughts working. That uh, uh, old guy who was a multi-millionaire, he told me one time, he says uh, he, he is 82 years old. He said, uh, Pastor, whatever you do, don't resign. If you resign, you're going to die. He said, die on the field. Say, whatever you do, Pastor. Say, I'm 82 years old. And he's a multi-millionaire in his business. He said, if I only resign and give my charity business, I will die. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, keep active. In your old days, keep active. We have young folks right now, like they have them. <laughs> Have a granddaughter, oh, we like to go. She just keep on going, 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 going. She was busy, busy, going, ready to go. She can't sleep. She, just, she said, if I do nothing, she'll sleep when she falls asleep. So your faith has to have a force. And, and in success, or to really master the godly financial faith work, you got to stay active. Keep doing something. The lifestyle of faith is a force. And to get things done as an attribute of physical action or movement. Force faith is strength. Force faith is to get things done. If you cannot get things done, your faith has no force and your force have no faith when you have force faith you know you you you, 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 you love to get things done you know and you know and force is strength right or energy as an attribute of physical action or movement. Let me say again. Force, when there was force, it is strength, it will be strong or energetic, you know, as an attribute of your life of physical action and movement. So when you 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 had to keep moving. You know, some people have to go to the gym to the, the, the exercise. I just move. I just do. Some of them are driving, and I just feel like driving too long. I need to move my legs. I need to walk around, you know. And, and because I, I just like to be, I like to have active movement. Whatever I'm doing, my movement is full of action, because I'm full of force. Many has, many has faith but no force. Some people have sleeping faith. They have slow faith or weak faith. Many people have faith, but your faith has a force. Remember, and you said, but force is strength or energy as an attribute of you of physical action and movement. And if you have to cross over in the things of God, and, and experience godly financial faith work. You need to be an active person. Active person. Active. I am I am delivering. I like to get things done. When your faith has force, you get things done. God will not give you finance. If you're lazy, why should God give you finance and you're lazy? See? One brother today tell me, say, oh, we had to decide. How we how we doing things and, and which is our priority? I ain't not doing that. I doing what is necessary. Whatever is necessary to keep my force moving, I will do it. I will take risks. I will take chances. I will always. I'm a, I take risks. I just take risks every day. I take risks because my faith is full of force. So God, I hear. Yeah, so many of us. We, 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 oh, we, our faith, right? We have faith, you know, but no force. 
We sleep in. It is to get things done. When you have false faith, it's to get things done. I like to get things done every day. I should get something done because my faith has force. I have strength. You know, I have movement. I have action. And that is what God wants to give to his children. Financial freedom and liberty, but you have to cross over in this attribute lifestyle and contain these things. God is building a people. I don't know if you know that, but God is building a people that understand such energy. It's an energy, you know. Faith, you know, you, faith have an energy. God is building right now an army around the world, not just in your house or in your town, in your country. God is building it around the whole world, the whole world right now. God is shaking people right now, and they're coming with force right now. That force, it, it is happening all over, you know? And God is depending on his children to cross over into godly financial faith walk. My faith walk, I take risks. I just do some things, people say it's stupid, but I just take risks. I, I, I take I just love to take risks. I I I, I just take risks. I, I take risks. Because when you hear your faith, you cannot deal with facts. See, see, the pandemic, it helps produce such kind. This pandemic that God allowed upon the earth, it, it is to breed a different class of people. And if you're in that class, your faith will not have a force. If you want to continue from 2019 the same way, your faith will drop. It will, it, it will be quenched. You cannot continue like 2018, 19. From the time this pandemic hit, 2020, is a different class of people upon the earth. The, the pandemic has produced a different class of Christian, a different class of God people, a different class right now. We have to we have to explore and do things now. We have to go into bitcoins and we need to do a cryptocurrency. You know, no, no, we're going to trade in and what trading. All these things. There's money around us right now, and we stop. We must stop looking at job and or and you know an orphan basket and go in the go in the enemy kingdom and master the crossover. It's time we go in the enemy turf and trust God for the financial walk and come out of God's kingdom, of the earthly kingdom with things from the devil. That's what God tell me to shoot this man. I am going after some godly uh, financial things. I believe our children of God, the children of God will benefit. If you don't want to serve God, you can't cross over. If you don't want to follow God and his word, you will not cross over. So the pandemic, it has, it has, it has produced such kind and we must get hold on that force of faith. Be active. Do something every day. Every day. Every day. You, you only don't do nothing when you're sleeping. Once you're up, do something. You just live by faith. I'll share tomorrow. You just, it, 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 it's a lifestyle. In Matthew chapter 11, Jesus made a statement. Matthew 11, powerful statement. And I like to use the scriptures. We all know talk it, talk it, talk it, talk it, talk it. 11 verse 12. It says here, look what Jesus said. Jesus, I like it. I like when Jesus makes these statements. You know? Jesus made this statement for me. You know? I know what you for me. Jesus said in Matthew 11, verse 12, and from the day of John the Baptist. So Jesus bring John the Baptist to a place right now that where his season has come to an end. So Jesus talking now um, from John the John the Baptist, you know John the Baptist, 
The guy who baptized Jesus Christ, the guy who ne never had a house, he never had a car. The, this guy never even have, a, he never even had nice clothes. This guy, Johnny Baptist, you know this this guy lost his head. You know, you know, you know this guy, he was he was in prison. Jesus talked about John the Baptist. And Jesus talked about this John the Baptist. And he says here, and from the day of John the Baptist until now. Until now. So this until now brings us in a category of faith. Because faith is now. No faith is. Now faith is. What faith is? Faith is whatever you do to make it work. Faith is to believe you can make it work. Faith is not the doubt in what you can do. He said, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, I would now mean active faith. Do something. Stop sleeping on yourself. Wake up. You want a wife? You have to have money. You want a car? You have to have money. You want a house? You have to have money. Yeah. You want a, you want a business? You have to have money. You can't have prayer and get a wife and pray for business and pray for money. You have got to start doing something. God will only bless what you do. God will only bless what you do. God cannot bless what you don't do, what you does not want to do, or what you believe that shouldn't be done. From the days of John the Baptist until now, now, he said the kingdom of God. So from, from when John reached here, Jesus said the kingdom of God is suffer, it suffer violence. The word suffer means lack. It lack activities. The word suffer, it means there is no action. There is no movement. There is no willpower. There is no strength. There is no energy. There is no drive. <laughs> hey, some heavy stuff coming here, boy. From the days of John the Baptist until now, Jesus said, he says God's kingdom is suffering, is lacking a lot of things. We condemn so much things. We condemn sex. We condemn gambling. We condemn money laundering. We can't we, we condemn everything. But yes, these things are wrong us. We could we, we could know how to really on to use those things to build God and go to the same people who are doing those things and help bring them up. Bring folks out of those things. The gambling, uh, the adultery, fornication, the, the thief and the light. Bring them out. See, he said, the kingdom of God suffer. It's lacking the power. It's lacking the ability. It's lacking the drive. It's lacking the force. It says it's suffer violent. The word suffer meaning lacking movement. No matter my watch, I'll be doing something every right now. We just rent the we rent uh, for uh, a company coming here from uh, from the states in the sixth of August, and I rent I rent the, the ballroom in Hilton. You know, we doing things. We online. The, the building wants some money coming. The old jet. Come with your own entourage, your own team right now. And here God say move. God say move. And it's not a godly thing, you know. There is nothing but God in that. But once I in that, God is it. <laughs> once Carl me is involved in that, you will get a piece of God in it. Because why? God's kingdom in me, not lacking. We're going in there and I'm taking some gold in it. <laughs> oh, oh God, my Lord, my Lord. 
It is a good teacher there. Wake up, people. Wake up, wake up, wake up. And from the day of John the Baptist, Matthew 11, verse 12, until now, God's kingdom super violent and the violent, the violent, the word violent means the wise. The word violence means lack. The word violent means wise, godly wisdom, wise. And the violent take it by force. Force, the word force means movement, energy, you know, doing something, have some strategy, have some plan, do something to take from the outside of God's kingdom and bring it on the inside of God's kingdom. That is what it is that force me. Not to force just to fill your belly and get your clothes, your house, your things. No. You need to go in the outside system and take things and bring it into God's kingdom. That is what force do. It's called for energy. It's called for strength. It calls for physical action and movement. Hey, God be here. I'm going to push it here like drugs on your throat. If you ain't get high, because, you're, because you're, your brain freeze. I will get high with God. Because why? God in finance is looking for us. God wants us to cross over into wealth and be distributors and stop being consumers. We got to stop being consumers and start being distributors. We got to stop begging and start being, being, being givers. So God says in Matthew chapter 11 verse 12, from the day of John the Baptist till now, God's kingdom is suffering lack. Suffering it means lack. Suffering, suffering, violence. The word violent here didn't mean thing. It means the activities. It means the force. It, it, it lacking that drive. We are now faithless instead of being faithful. Some of us sin because we run from God. All sin does. Sin qualifies me to repent. Sin makes you repent and tell God sorry. Because you're done, you're done inside you can't come outside. When you make a mistake, tell God sorry. Don't just go and cry and cry and cry. Tell God sorry and continue and start back your walk of faith and cross over. Hey, I hope you catch that there. Yeah. So from now, now on till now faith is needed i say faith and wisdom is needed faith and wisdom is what needed right now after this pandemic this pandemic to survive here you need faith force and god new wisdom and the common frame you know poverty coming lack coming sickness coming Disease coming, cancer coming, you know, all kind of things coming right now, you know, rape coming, you know, things coming from all sides, you know, you know, the government right now don't have a solution, they have financial squeeze, they, they, they can't even, you know, right, they're going to move pension from old folks just now and make you rally yourself and die old. They will kill you because why you want to pay your work, your young days to depend on a pension. You never, never prepare for these days. That's why I'm trying myself to prepare a, a, a way I will have income, not outcome. And I'm waiting right now. I said that I'm a, a patient. I'm wait, waiting now 20, I mean 14 years. I wait 14 years to prepare a place for God. I have patience. I can't talk patient, and you can see I have patience. But I have patience, but I also have faith force. I have the strength, I have energy, I have the activity, I have action, and I have movement. For all the prophets and all the and all the law prophesy until John. All the prophets and law prophesy until John. That means these guys were talking before John. When John came, 
it brought a different movement now. The whole, the, the, from the time John came, all them prophets and toughy sign, it don't work now. What work now is faith until now. So don't look for no prophecy and look for no revelation, no laws. Try to walk by faith. Cross over to the faith world. What's it? From all, for all the prophets and laws prophesied until John. I was 14. What, what he says, and if you will receive it, it's coming in. If the force of faith, if you can receive that tonight and say, God, I want to have forceful faith. I want my faith to have action. I want to be a person of movement. I want to be a person right now that make it happen. If you receive that tonight, watch out. Crossing over becomes very, very simple. But you've got to have faith to force. Don't make nobody restrict your faith. Don't make nobody command your faith to die. Use your faith. Be about something. Whatever you're doing, make sure God is pleased. Don't matter what you are doing, no matter what you have done, retain God in your activities. I don't care what I have done wrong. I will make sure I will keep God in my activities. I don't care what they say I do wrong or do right. What thinking wrong, do right. I will keep God in my activities. Walk with God. Whatever you walk with God. And we, as we move forward to build his kingdom. Don't matter what the weeping may draw for night. But your joy can come in the morning time. No matter what you say wrong, think wrong, do wrong. Remember to stick with God. God God always clean you up and make sure you are part of building his kingdom. But you cannot do it. You don't understand. You need to have faith that have force. Hey, can't be here. Thank you for watching again. Watch out. I'm coming tomorrow. Time to go over. God bless.